so make me laugh so I can just laugh for half hour. Mm, laugh. Oh my god. Welcome to another episode of 1075 Charter, a podcast focused on all things emergency services. On today's episode, I'm joined alongside Mark. Let's have a listen. What's up, Nick? All right, we're, we're here to talk about uh, a little about yourself first. Okay. On uh, how you started with 1075 and mm-hmm. a little background about yourself. Okay. So uh, what do you like to do? What I like to do? Yeah. My like on your off time. My off time. Um, nowadays I'm just kind of being a dad. Nice. I uh, don't have too much free time to do the things that I used to do. But I mean, I used to, you know, play guitar in a band. I used to ride motorcycles. Um, should have brought your guitar with you. Should have brought my guitar. Yeah, could have been fun. <laughs> I just want to say it's an honor to be seated next to a, a, a TikTok sensation like yourself. Yeah. yeah. How's, how's life been since uh, you've gone viral? Good, good. I've uh, definitely put two pounds of hair gel on my hair mm-hmm. lately, especially nice. this morning. Nice. Definitely had to look good with you. <laughs> you know, trying to get you back into TikTok mm-hmm. so we could uh, get you. I'm too you... old for TikTok now. No, yeah. you're not that old. Yeah. Do people recognize you now? Like some when you're walking do. down the street? Yeah. yeah. Some people do. And like, hey, you're that guy from TikTok. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah goodbye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so uh, tell us about yourself, how you started with 1075. When you say us, there's only you. Is there someone else in here that I'm not seeing? Do you have like an imaginary friend? Uh-huh. <laughs> we don't talk about him. Okay. You keep on He's... saying we. <laughs> <laughs> we. Okay. So what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> this is how I was hoping it was going to go. This is going to make you laugh the whole time. Come on, focus. So should we cut to a commercial break? Like, what do we do here now, Nick? <laughs> uh... Nick, this isn't good for radio. <laughs> this is a lot of dead air. Like, I, I can't do this all by myself, you know. I'm about to die. Holy <laughs> I shit. I can see that. You're turning red. Tears. Tears of joy. All right. All right. <laughs> Please. Take two. Do you need a moment to go collect your thoughts? Do you want to go outside for a little bit? And I'll, I'll, I don't know, I'll say the Pledge of Allegiance. I'll talk about lights, <laughs> no, sirens. We're good. Okay, we're, we're good. good. All right, don't hit the mic. So, so tell, us, tell us about yourself. So as we covered, I'm Mark. <laughs> I work at 1075. I'm, a, I'm an upfitter, I guess. What do you upfit? Um, everything and anything. Like I'll up di- I'll upfit cars, trucks, vans, boats. Oh yeah, boats. Mm-hmm. Done with some road runners. Some road runners. Yeah, whatever. You- jet skis. Oh, jet skis. Wave runner. Yeah, wave runner. Yeah, I was thinking Something. like the road runner from the cartoon. <laughs> that made no sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hopefully one day we get to do a submarine. I want to do a helicopter. A helicopter. Yeah. Yeah. We got to broaden our horizon a little bit more. Helicopter, airplanes, do a boat. helicopters, do um, a navy boat, coast guard boat. Ooh, okay, yeah, that'd be cool. But yeah, I'm Mark. I'm an upfitter. I work at 1075. Been there for almost four and a half years, I guess, something like that. I'm not counting. Um, yeah, you know, I, dr- I drill holes in cars all day. Eighty thousand dollar cars. Yeah, it's it's just, just dis- drill. Destroying resale value. <laughs> That they still sell for a pretty good amount? Mm, I don't think so. Well, I don't know. I wouldn't pay anything more than $1,000 for a, a car with a bunch of holes in it. But the silicone. Oh, yeah. The yeah, that, that'll keep the water off for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much 
well, not how much. How uh, much do I get paid? Is that what you're asking? <laughs> you can't ask that. Well, how much you get paid? In gum. I wish I got paid. <laughs> <laughs> um, how did you find 1075? So that's a funny story. I was sitting in a laundromat one time, just hating my life and hating what I was doing. I used to work at a, an RV dealership as okay. a service technician there. And I was tired of, like, scraping human fecal matter out of tanks and stuff Sounds along that line. Fun. So I was on a, on Facebook scrolling, and I came across, um, I forget what, the, what it was called. They used to have, like, job listings on there. Indeed. In, no, it wasn't Indeed. I was on Facebook, and I clicked. Yeah, I guess it brought me to Indeed. There was a link. <laughs> <laughs> And it said, like, you know, do you know how to hook up lights? And I was like, yeah, I can probably do that. And I'm like, oh, can you drill holes and things? Like, yeah, I'm pretty good at that, too. And, like, do you have a driver's license? Like, yeah, I have a driver's license. And, like, then you're the man for the job. So I hit, you know, apply. And then uh, a couple of days later, I got a phone call from someone. I don't remember who. And they go, oh, come down for an interview. Interview, talk to them. And then here I am sitting in this room with you. <laughs> and the funny part is that w your last job before that, that was my last job. It was my job first. It was your mm -hmm. job first, but then yeah. I took over when you left. Yeah, because I was. And I, we didn't know each other. We, we didn't. I had briefly met you the day I picked up my toolbox there. And I don't remember. And you. I remember this day as clear as day. Oh, you do. I do. And so I, I walked in, and then. You were standing there, and I go, now I talked to, I talked to someone first, and I was like, oh, that's the new guy, that's Nick in there. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to go say what's up to him, you know. So I walk up to you, and I say, hi, Nick, I'm Mark, nice to meet you. And you go, it's not Nick, it's Nicholas. I'm like, wow, this guy's a douchebag. <laughs> I don't remember that. Yep, and that, that was my first encounter with you. Really? I don't really care about who mm -hmm. calls me No, Nick. no, no, you, you were pretty my offended Nick, that I called really? you Nick. My nickname over there was Julio. Yeah. So I don't think Nick would come up. Yeah. Well, you were still pretty new. Oh, I was young. And it was like your I'm second young second day there. <laughs> yep. I had. And I had worked there before you, so it was my job first. I had big feet to fill in. Yeah. If you aren't that big. I'm wearing eleven. I'm ten. Yeah. So it's not bad. But yeah, I had I had quit to move on to bigger and better things, which did not work <laughs> out. Because here I am in this room, again, sitting with you. <laughs> and I'm not a and douche. Then, yeah, and then that's how I ended up at Garrick, and then I quit that job, and here I am now. So I'm going to ask you a question. Okay, go ahead. What's been your favorite project since working at 1075? So my favorite project would probably be uh, that Bogan County EMS bus that we worked on. It's a huge project, the biggest project I've probably done. Yeah. With this company. Mm hmm And why did you like it so much? It uh, brightened my horizons on uh, just installing, how to pre-plan uh, removal and fabricating the tr bus into a rehab bus. Mm hmm Taking all the seats out and stuff. That was fun, cutting sh stuff up. It's always fun to cut stuff up. Yeah. Sadly, I couldn't use a torch, but mm. die grinder looked better. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't even trust you with a die grinder, let alone a torch. Uh, I have fun with the torch. I'm sure you do. <laughs> <laughs> what was your best, uh, your best build so far in the four and a half years you've been here? I haven't done my best build yet. Mm. Well, Port Jovis <laughs> would have been your... My best? Well, your biggest or... My biggest? Yeah. I think the biggest would have, was the makerspace. Okay. That was a pretty big one. You didn't like one. doing that one? Uh, I didn't like it. I loved it. Oh, my God. For, you know, three months, my favorite thing to do is to, like, walk in and see that every day. <laughs> it was so much fun. And some Saturdays, right? And some Saturdays. Mm-hmm. So yeah. which was your best build you've done? I haven't done my best build yet, I said. That is yet to come. Out of the four and a half years? Out of the four and a half years? I'll, what, I'll say my, my which favorite one. Which one would you one, choose? My favorite one was um, uh, the New York Press. We'll call it the Spy Van. Okay. Because they're not that, telling me exactly what it's for. Yeah. So I've dubbed it the Spy Van. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. Yeah. What what did you like about that one? Uh, I liked it because it was like a whole lot of different things. It wasn't just like, you know, hooking up strobe lights and sirens. You know, it was, you know, building the floor in it and building the cabinets and the inverter and all the other systems that went into it. It was always like something new because I get bored doing the same thing every day. And correct me if I'm wrong, there's four, there was four batteries in that van? There were four, four big batteries. batteries. Not including the chassis. Not including the chassis. Yep. Yeah, that one was fun. You know, it was okay. a little bit of like, um, like, I guess I didn't do any carpentry. I just hung up the cabinets. <laughs> I was going to say carpentry, but no. Yeah. There was a little bit of everything. That's one thing I got to say about the bigger builds is you're able to do something different. Mm -hmm. with these Tahoes or Fords that are cookie cutters. You're doing the same thing, same thing. And what's nice is when you get the opportunity to work on a build, big build and either retrofit a fire truck or build a uh, New York Press van, mm -hmm. make a bus. Uh, we could talk about the Port Jervis uh, truck that you were supposed to build. <laughs> Uh, you did the lift kit and what else on that? I, I put a light bar on it. And that's it? <laughs> yeah. And then uh, why couldn't you uh, finish that build, sadly? Yeah, unfortunately I got into a, a pretty bad motorcycle accident that took me out for like six months. Y you recovered pretty quickly. I had no for, choice. For your injuries, that was... Uh, yeah. I know. I Spicer. heard you guys were like, you know, falling behind without me. So yeah, I had to, I had to pick up your slack. Mm -hmm. I, I know. I jumped on that truck, and I'm like, great. Yeah, Good great. thing the lift kit's done. God damn it, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> what did you? Did I know you didn't build it, but how fascinating it was to see that truck pull out of the bay once it was done? Or were you not still not here when that pulled out? Um. I mean, so like when I was at home recovering, I was seeing all the, the videos and the updates on YouTube. Okay. So like every time I was like a little bit more done, I was like, oh wow, look at this thing. It's getting like, you know, with the body and then the, uh, all the lights like I added to it and just mm -hmm. kept on looking bigger and bigger. And then when I saw it, you know, all done and all the decals and the lights flashing, I was like, wow, look at this thing. Oh, I, Thank that, God I didn't have to do that. Yeah, it, it was, <laughs> it was a pain. It was nice, it was fun, but. Mm -hmm. It just becomes to, I mean, one thing I like about big builds, it's different, but then it's like the downside to that is they take longer. So it, you're like, once you're done, almost done with it, there's these nitty gritty things that have to get done. So it just keeps on coasting yeah. for a couple more days. Yeah, like towards the end of those big builds, you kind of get tired of it. And you almost just want to like, I just want to be done with this thing already. Yeah, and where you're with the other builds, it's like, it's quick, it's done, mm -hmm. boom, the next one, then you start. But the bigger ones, they kind of lag out long. Yeah. And it's it's fun, but it gets tiring. <laughs> Job town, I guess. Do you want me to turn that off? <laughs> See, okay. Now, uh... <laughs> Are you a volunteer firefighter? I am the furthest thing from a volunteer firefighter. <laughs> I don't know that's, if you can tell. That's good. Well, like I know like firefighters can't have beards. No, they cannot. They can't. But we could have sweet mustaches. Yeah. Looking on mine. Yeah. I think I got to bring back beards in the, uh, in the fire fighting <laughs> industry. Fire I don't service. know what to call it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> now, what what's your opinion on... Not being a firefighter and building these cars for people, for first responders. Um, I think it's, uh, I guess it feels good. Oh, job town vehicle into the structure. Cool. So we're just ignoring me now? A little bit. Okay. Yeah, like, no, yeah, my, like my right idea is listening to that. <laughs> my left ear is listening to you. I mean, I think it kind of feels good, kind of like almost giving back. To the community per mm -hmm. se um like especially when it's like a town that like um either i've lived in or you know like i know someone from there and i was like hey like, keep an eye out for whatever you know i touched it <laughs> <laughs> like it might the, not work like the vernon chief's vehicles we built yeah i, didn't I don't touch know if those. you touched those no but i get to see them all the time so that's cool that's good yeah, yeah, like it's yeah, nice yeah, to see my that. company worked on that yeah mm -hmm. and then almost um 
I got like, uh, what was the question? <laughs> uh, not being a volunteer firefighter, how is it? Uh, how working on this for first responders and not being like a first responder? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's not like my my interest. Like, I'm not I don't really. I mean, I mean, it's cool. Like all the Blink fire the trucks and the blinking lights, but you know, it's not like my thing. Like once I leave work and I go home that's the furthest thing from my mind every Other time I every time I hear like a siren going down the road I want to throw up <laughs> like that's just kind of what it's done to me at that point but yeah you know I, I like doing it now did you point out like oh those flash patterns they don't sink no nah, yeah, those, those cops yeah, cop cars I, don't I, sink I on the highway as long as those lights turn on <laughs> we're good to go like I don't understand this whole like you know like we got slide switch levels one through three. It just be three all the time, pedal to the metal, and let's go, baby. Which, honestly, I guarantee you, 99.9% everybody does is slide three, code three, let's go. Yeah. Other mm-hmm. than that, I would... Yeah. Oh, slide one? What's that? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's silly. Don't need it. Just too much extra work for us. I mean, my opinion on sinking is good for the highway, calms the chaos. Because I've been on 287, on 208, where you've had multiple cop cars on accident or it's traffic stop, and it's chaotic. And Yeah, well, welcome to New Jersey. It's just chaos everywhere. I, like, obviously, I don't think they're paying attention to the lights sinking up. Everyone just wants to see, like, oh, what happened over there? Yeah, that, that's why you get the rubberneckers and they Yeah, I don't think they even see the lights. I think some people are attracted yeah. to them. Mm, okay. Don't know why, but... They're, they're like attracted. flies. Yeah. I wouldn't say <laughs> flies, but... Uh, yeah. Moths. Flies, moths, flies. For some reason, they just attract them. Yeah. And it's... Not bad. me. No. I try to stay far away from those flashing lights. Well, what about that story about amber flashing lights trying to pass you? Oh, yeah. I did not let that guy pass me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Some that, random that, guy with amber lights trying to pass you. Yeah, like, he, he might have been trying to respond to a call. And, I mean, he's got amber lights on. Like, I don't know what he's doing. Like, maybe he's trying to, like, get in front of me, you know, stop me on the road, and then, I don't know, rob me or something. <laughs> <laughs> so he's trying to, like, pass me over a double yellow. And I'm like, oh, not today. And yeah, then want to pass me. And he was in, like, a mason dump, too, which was kind of weird. Mm-hmm. Could be responding code three to get a uh, load dumped. Maybe. That's why he has Who a fast ra- ratio about yeah. dumping but, his load. But then I felt bad and then I let him pass me. <laughs> I think he might have flipped me off. <laughs> nah. Amber lights. The old Jersey salute. Well, the, they don't need lights to go around you. A lot of people just. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I know the law. <laughs> You're not supposed to be trying to pass me with your amber lights on. Like I said, I don't know who the hell that guy is. Maybe trying to kill me. But luckily he didn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your uh, your favorite color light? My favorite color light? I mean, obviously blue because blue. I use blue all the time. I like time. the green ones. The greens are nice. It's yeah. a nice settling to the eye. It's very calming. Yes, when yeah. especially cruising them. Mm-hmm. I like when... Cru- Nowadays, apparently, the new thing is... Uh, PD cruising the lights all the time. Okay. I don't Why? Know if your t- town does it, but mm. mine does. I guess more visibility to the citizens of look, I'm here. Mm. Well, that's good. I don't like when the the cops they 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 hide in a bush and you can't see them while you're trying to you know do reckless things <laughs> driving down the road and all of a sudden you whoop whoop. Uh oh. Yeah, that's not fair. They shouldn't be hiding. Well, I don't like when uh. Lights come up behind you when they can't be faster than you. Like, catch up. Get a better, faster car. Like, if we're racing, don't put your lights on if you lose. You're racing the cops? Well, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. And they're sore losers. They'll put the lights on and pull me over. Like, you lost. Square and, like... Fair and square. Fair and square. You lost. Don't yeah. Don't be mad when... When you can't... When you get beat by a, by by a Chevy Silverado. A Chevy Silverado. <laughs> <laughs> with, a, with a tent on the roof? Tent's not on the roof. It's not right on now. the roof right yeah. now? Okay. Hmm. 
kind of had uh, found out that half of that bar was uh, came off. Uh oh. Yeah, I was That's at Costco and I do a test every now and then. I'm like, and it's moving. It's not supposed to move, mm. so I had to take it off. So are you gonna fix it? Yeah, definitely. Okay. I'll be back on soon. I got a camping trip in July. Nice. So now you asked me what I like to do outside of work. What do you like to do outside of work? I like camping. Camping, hiking. Camping, uh, hiking. Just in nature. Not hippie way, but... Not the hippie way. Not the hippie way, just into nature more. And now just to more. clarify for everyone, what's the hippie way? Because I'm not familiar with that at all. Well, the hippie way, I don't know. Is we're, we're not we won't get into that. No, we're gonna get into as, it as much. The hippie way. Well, I don't know what that means. Happy jolly. Happy jolly. Happy jolly in the woods. Okay. You know, right. mushrooms. Oh, okay. <laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> mushrooms. They they don't. <laughs> no care in the world. Okay. Cool. So you don't like doing that. No. You just like. No. I just being like being in the woods. Having a good scotch. Good scotch. Good scotch, some firewood, and mm -hmm. burning things. Burning things. Yes. Wood. Burning oh, wood. Okay. Yeah, I got to clarify that. Because I'm picturing you drunk in the wood, just burning <laughs> everything. <laughs> burning wood. Just wood. Nice. Only wood. Only wood. Not good. Maybe some Christmas trees, but. Oh. Okay. Got to start it somehow. Mm hmm. And usually, like, a little bit of, like, kindling. Newspaper can get it going, but a whole Christmas tree, that's that's efficient. Yes, very, especially when you have two. So you drag a whole Christmas tree out to a campsite? No. Oh, no. You cut one down? No, this would be like upstate New York. Oh. No, there's called farms for that. Farms? Farms. Oh, farms. Farms. Christmas tree farms. Christmas tree farms. You're burning down Christmas tree farms. No, I <laughs> cut it down when it's done, and it's dead. I'm asking dead. you, how do you get the Christmas tree to the campsite? Oh, I don't do it at the campsite. Oh. No. Okay. At home? No. Okay. Then where? In a secret location. Okay. <laughs> Good answer. Okay. That no one knows about mm -hmm. but me. Nice. And the airplanes that see the smoke. Mm. Okay. But we'll go back on topic on... Yeah, uh, we digress. <laughs> 1075. Uh, you want to talk about that make a bus? The Makerspace bus? Makerspace bus? Yeah, that what was... was that uh, about? What was it about? Um, I don't know what it was about, but it was a big... I don't know what you want to call it. It was like a, like a stepside van. From my understanding, it was, a, uh, it was supposed to be like a teaching bus. Yeah, but I'm saying like at the core of it. I don't know how you'd describe the vehicle. It was was like that a, a box van? Yeah, I don't know. It was big, though. It was like a big... I call it a bread truck. It was a bread truck. Yeah. I think it was a bread truck yeah. before we... But I, get, uh, but, I mean, so that job got started before I I started working there. Okay. And it was, from what I heard, it was like a mobile classroom. So it had like, um, I guess it had like partitions in it set up with like, you know, desks. And mm -hmm. I didn't really see it before it got gutted, but it got gutted like down to the studs. And then, you know a new floor got put in and the walls got built mm -hmm. up. So when I started, it was still gutted down to the frame and the floor got laid in. Okay. And then basically, I think we had some more wiring to shoot through it. So then that's when I started and I was working with, with Greg. Okay. And, you know, we, we kind of did that for... I want to say like two or three weeks and then Greg had left and then here I am like still pretty new to 1075 like and like COVID <laughs> just hit too. So now I'm like, yeah, like super confused. I didn't know what I was doing in there. And now I'm like, you know, wearing a mask inside. So that was like a whole nother level of like uncomfortable for me. And then, um, yeah, I just kind of like, I don't know, start chipping away at it and we put put the walls back up and then we built uh I don't even want to call it. They were kinda like little workstations in there. Mm -hmm. That have I think it was called like the eighty twenty racking system, something like that. 
then you know got all the inverters installed and the batteries and then finished up all the interior lighting put the tvs in there and then uh yeah like i said at the beginning like three months later it was finally done after you know working after hours and coming in a couple saturdays here and there okay. would you call that uh was that overwhelming especially being like oh yeah it was super being overwhelming. thrown in yeah and here yeah let's see if you could do this don't fuck it up yeah <laughs> Yeah, basically, like, I felt like my entire future <laughs> kind of as of like working here was riding on that. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, you know, if I kind of like uh, didn't pull through, then I'm like, all right, you know, like, get out of here, go. Well, you go to the smaller builds. Mm, I don't know. Maybe I felt like I kind of like when I for the interview, I, you know, I played myself up a lot. Yeah. But um, yeah, they like, <clears throat> Working on that, I mean, like, oh, he, he doesn't know what he's doing. He was just lying the entire time, and, you know, just replaced me with someone else. Now we're going to throw you uh, into the wolves. Yeah. And Believe it or not, I kind of know what I'm doing. Yeah, I, I tend to say the same thing. Yeah. I, At least I think I know what I'm doing. I try to know, but yeah. I don't know about that. I like to say I'm a, I'm a jack of all trades, master of none. Same. Mm-hmm. Doodle. Yeah. Ditto, whatever you say. Ditto. Ditto. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, the maker space. Hopefully, never have to see that ever again. They came back once. They came back a couple times. Was that? Did they uh, tour the awning apart? Yeah, or something? mostly for things that would break. Um, I think we added a couple items to it here and there. From from the four and a half years you've been working for this company, and you've seen some. Repairs come back on like how brutal some fire departments are on the on their equipment. I don't know. You've seen the Newark trucks, correct? How yeah. many <laughs> slides they've broken and just how brutal and how it how we have to think of different options of try to make this fireman proof or police proof. Yeah, they're they're definitely animals on their equipment. As I've noticed, so with like that in mind, I always try to make things a little bit more heavy duty. Mm -hmm. Like when it comes to like mounting something, you know, mm -hmm. it's just not like a simple nut and bolt. You know, just figure out something that's gonna actually hold up over time. Yeah. Like I like to picture, you know, someone like for some reason jumping up and down on like a slide out <laughs> or something. I don't know why they would do that, but you know, I try to make but they it. Could. Yeah, they could. Yeah, I mean, they could. Just oh, yeah. like we we got to sometimes go in those slides and crawl up into a ball and try again back of those pickup trucks. Yeah. yeah, I always try to make things, you know, securely mounted or just try to try to do it the best way possible. Make We're, it bulletproof. Yeah, sort it's going to last. Yeah, I definitely try to do that. What would you say would be uh, the best TikTok video that we've done? And do you, do you like being on air or doing these videos? You've been in maybe one or two of them. So to answer your first question, my my favorite TikTok video was the the fire truck one, <laughs> where you donned the super tight black shirt and the little <laughs> plastic helmet. Well, they couldn't fit me in the dress, so yeah, that was actually my idea for the tight shirt. It was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was that? An extra small? Uh, I believe so. I don't know why they had an extra small in stock, but I'm they did, and I was like put that one on it's gonna be hilarious yeah. have you worked. seen any like royalties from that video yet no they haven't given you a dime no i work for free man you gotta get a lawyer <laughs> free and vain uh fame okay and then what was the second question second question was uh you've done maybe one or two videos mm. do you like being on the air or are you more like rather not to be uh, in videos or yeah. I mean, pictures. I don't, I don't mind it. I'm just afraid that, you know, someone's going to leave a mean comment and hurt my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't care. That's good. It's, they don't pay my bills. Yeah. yeah. You seem to have fun doing that. I do. I do. Mm -hmm. it's, it's all fun and games at the end of the day, basically. Yeah. And it's something to look forward to doing. I'll look at the clock. I'm like, yep, we're doing a video. Let's go. go. I'm ready. So instead of upfitting vehicles, you're just out there 
I have fit vehicles and mm. do videos. I'm a multitasker. Okay. So on your job description, it says Nicholas Harrison, multitasker. No. 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 It says just multi- outfitter. Yeah, outfitter. Outfitter. Okay. We should add a s- nice slogan title for myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can add a couple TikTok. there. Yeah. Upfitter. Upfitter, videographer, or however marketing Influencer. would. Yeah, influencer. Mm-hmm. How marketing would like to. I'm uh, surprised they don't that. take you to all the trade shows. <laughs> you know, like imagine it would be nice. Yeah, like eventually, your, maybe, yeah, maybe uh, there could be talk. But yeah, when they say, you know, we're going to be at the firemen's convention this year in Wildwood, come see us at booth whatever. Come meet TikTok sensation Nicholas Harrison. I'm already down there. Signing already, autographs. So. No, but they're going to bring you. It's like a selling point. <laughs> Could be. We yeah. could try that. Yeah. Bring it up to the up management. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, come see Nick from videos such as Fire Truck. See me sideways. We're upfitters. <laughs> and the we're other video we're not allowed to talk about. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See me sideways on a boardwalk, yeah. half drunk. Yeah. I, I, yeah. yeah. I would pay to see that, actually. And I would instigate it. <laughs> <laughs> I know you would. <laughs> That's why I like bringing you up on these videos. You definitely will bring up good uh, talks and uh, laughable uh, moments. Yeah, I try. Now, what about you? Do you, do you feel like, because um, I know the Internet's a mean place. Oh, and definitely. that's one reason it, why it is. I don't like being on many of them. Okay. Like, how do you take people being mean on the Internet? Um, honestly, it doesn't bother me because you know why they don't pay me they don't sleep with me they 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 don't pay my bills so okay what what does it matter to them i don't care about them Mm, okay i care about the views it makes content it's there to make you laugh if people are taking things too hard then that's on you you gotta live a little bit because if you're gonna be a uh, stone and want to start stuff then it's really what are you living for yeah i mean those people who are leaving those comments are probably just like you know like 45 year old men living in their mom's basement <laughs> anyway <laughs> yeah probably <laughs> probably either that or they're like they're 12. yeah i yeah. mean my life's going good right now so i can't complain and i'm not gonna have someone on facebook or instagram TikTok talk me down because i have a speech impediment mm-hmm. we all know especially at the shop <laughs> yeah <laughs> especially at the shop and my singing yeah. but i don't let that thing that bother me at all because they're probably across the world and they don't even matter they're gonna post that and keyboard warriors and then once they're done they're gonna go back to their lives in the basement mm-hmm. waiting for mom to hook up uh cook their hot pocket mac and cheese and mac and cheese mm-hmm. but doesn't bother me anymore. That's good. Well, it doesn't bother me at all because I don't even – I look at the comments, but then there's so many comments, it's not even worth yeah. looking at it. It's insane. It's actually – it gives me a laugh, honestly. Yeah. It makes my day because people will have the time to comment the time and to do all that and to respond to other people. And it's, it's hilarious, honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mean people on the internet. Yeah. Keyboard warriors. That's what we call them. That's all they're going to be. What do you see yourself in five years? Where do I see myself in five years? Hopefully I have my own office <laughs> with, like, my name on the door. That's That's wrong. goals. That's goals. Yeah, that is the goal. But, I mean, maybe the future of, like, upfitting. I mean, obviously, I'm assuming the lights are still going to blink. On it's just off. gonna get maybe a little more complicated. I yeah, mean, honestly, it's it's nice that the technology is there. We're able to uh, from going from turning on a rotility rotility light to now three wire lights that blink off a bob mm-hmm. or a controller, yeah. and you could do multiple functions. Where back in the day. Just turn lights on, turn lights off. <laughs> but then you ran into the, you need relays to do certain things and all this. Yeah. And you, they used high power uh, strobe lights. Yeah. 
that will explode your power probe if you attach it to to it. Yeah, but, and they're they're dangerous to work with. Yeah, you get pretty good shock from those those old Shiro packs. <laughs> you got shocked before? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I remember when I was still before I worked at ten seventy five. I came across something like that and I was like, "What is this?" <laughs> <laughs> and nobody told me what it was, and I forgot what I was doing. I was replacing something in a, in a headlight, and uh, yeah, I turned it on. I was like, "Wow, that's bright!" And then I touched something, and I got a good zap from it. That's nice. Yeah. Now, how did you get up to upfitting to 1075 or did you do any upfitting like before you joined here i mean i i did small maybe like four light call them builds okay on mostly like, like contractor trucks okay it was usually just like you know like two lights in the grill and then maybe like a set of hideaways but i mean i've kind of always been kind of good with uh with you know electric electricity both high voltage and low voltage. I understand it, how it works, and uh, it's pretty Just simple to me. Don't touch the ground when you're touching the. High. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a couple simple rules to follow. As long as you do that, you're gonna be okay. Black to brass to save your ass. Yeah, and that's one of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I mean, as far as like learning all the uh, like the emergency lighting mm-hmm. type builds, um, that was just kind of all on the job. Um, you know, like I, I never really worked on any cop cars or fire trucks or anything like that. No college experience from this or Yeah. No. Just out of high school, just started working and everything's kind of been on the job. But the same, it's yeah. It's the best way to learn, honestly, in my opinion, on the job training. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. But if I were to start life over and go down the <laughs> other route, Maybe I would be somewhere else. Maybe I'd still be here. I have no idea. But that's all I know. I'm just on the job training. Do you think we'll uh, go to Bluetooth lights and stuff? What do you think in the future would be the new, th- like, gist? In the future, I think that there's going to be no crime. There's going to be no fires. There's going to be no danger. So there will be no need for blinking lights anymore. That's what I think. Like, how far into the future are we talking? Like, 3,000 years? Yeah, that's... There's not, there's let, not gonna be let's, an, there's let's not gonna be an, There's not going to be an earth. earth. <laughs> there will be no Earth in 3,000 years. But Wi-Fi lights? <sighs> I don't know. Control of f- just from your phone? I mean, we could do that now. Not with the phone yet. Yeah. We can't turn oh, them on, turn well, it off. Yeah. I mean, but why would you want to turn on your, your cop car from your phone? When what, you have that fancy slide switch in there. That also makes yeah. noise. It makes noise? Beep, beep, oh, beep. Yeah. Hmm. It's a nice... Uh, yeah. But I mean, I, <coughs> I'm thinking sooner or later, a lot of this stuff's going to go electric, though. What do you mean? Like, like the cars. You think like everything, you see, uh, everything will go electric? Probably. I don't think so. You don't I think, think so? we're going to keep gas cars around mm-hmm. for a long time. Yeah? Yeah. Now, I'm picturing, like, cyber trucks... With with that, with, uh, with an end roads that would be cool on the roof. Would you be excited if a cyber truck came in? No, because it's a stainless steel body. And oh, as it you is. know, stainless steel sucks to drill. Yeah, I know. I already <laughs> did that a couple of weeks ago. Mm-hmm. With, uh, stainless mm-hmm. had to drill a bunch of holes. Yeah, that's huh. the future. More electric, more technology, more, more softwares, headaches. more headaches. More headaches because we tie into other things and uh, yeah. Just going to become more and more removed from like the analog way of doing things. Like, mm. yeah, maybe just, you know, instead of a, a controller, it's just going to be a button on your phone you turn on. A button on your screen. Or a button in your, your Apple your glasses. glasses. Touch it. Oh, turn yeah. the lights on. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I know you like conspiracies. So I do. what's your co- biggest conspiracy theory? My biggest one is I don't think we landed on the moon in 69. Why don't you think we landed on the moon? Well, because we just wanted to be the first ones there. So someone was said that we should just film it in a basement somewhere. And they staged a moon landing in a basement, and they just aired <laughs> that on TV. Okay. And then just, like, freaked the entire world out, and they fell for it. But I think eventually we did go on the moon. Eventually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, that's a good yeah. conspiracy theory. Yeah, we'd, we'd I, have to get into another episode. I'm too. not really, I am, but I'm not really good with conspiracy theory. I don't really care yeah. that okay. much. They're fun to think about. It's a rabbit hole that I don't feel like going down. Uh, it's fun when you can't sleep in the middle of the night and you need something to read. Conspiracy that, theories. That is true. Wait. You could also look at blinky lights. No. Or my face. No. No. I my face want, doesn't want... put you to sleep. No, it does no. the exact opposite. <laughs> <laughs> gives me nightmares do you, do you watch like videos of lights and stuff when you're home sometimes or so because i like follow the the page on facebook okay 1075 i uh you know i see the videos and then it recommends you know more of our stuff and then like videos from other upfitters, upfitters. i like to watch what other people are doing too okay just to see if like they're better than me <laughs> Now, Which they, they usually you, are. <laughs> when you see these upfitters, what do you think makes us stand out? Um, I've noticed we definitely have, like, our own, we'll call it a style. Okay. Of, like, the way things get laid out. Um, we seem to kind of do things, um, like, layout-wise, pretty clean, I'd say. Like, everything we put on, like, a Tahoe, mm -hmm. it looks like it belongs there. It's thought out. Yeah. Like, I've seen things on, you know, stuff that we didn't upfit. And, like, why would you put a light there? You know, just, it just kind of looks weird. It doesn't yeah. kind of go with any body lines or... It's just thrown into yeah, place. Yeah, it seems like said, a weird spot. I think they put blindfolds on and go, Let, yeah, we'll go there. Yeah, I, I, I really don't know. That if that's what they want and no one talks them out of it and they just stick it there. Have you worked in uh, some other builds where the console's like a rat's nest? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've and then you got to fix it. Yeah, I've opened up consoles before and it just looks like a scrap wire bin in there. <laughs> <laughs> just years and years and years of people trying to fix things. Or add things. And then or add Just things. adding things. Yeah. But usually when I see that, I just... Rip it all out and start over. Yeah, that's it's pretty the much. Thing to do. You're trying to figure out if something's drawing something. You know what? Yep. It's time to cut all these wires. And hopefully you hook up it, you hook it all up again the yeah. right way. And then you get a phone call. This thing doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we uh, your last upfitter just kind of rat nested and we fixed it. But usually everybody goes home happy when they get their vehicle. Yeah, I'd say so. I know I'm happy when I see it leave. Me too. Why? Especially when it never comes back. It's nice when it <laughs> never comes back. Yep. And then when it comes back, and then you're like, hey, what's up? What's it back? Why is it back? Oh, we're just adding something. I was like, oh, oh thank, thank God. God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're just adding this, adding that. I was like, okay. Yeah. It's not back for any other issues. That's good. It's good, good to hear. Yeah. We like to see their faces, but we don't like to hear that it's coming back for something. Yeah. We're mm -hmm. pretty prideful for that. It's a nice shirt you're wearing, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's very it's, uh, my American fishy. Flag. Trout. It is trout. You were asking me before. Yeah. If it was shark, it was trout. It was trout. my truck, so. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, for the people that aren't watching the video, he's wearing a, we'll call it a, a hula shirt. It looks like know. an American I, flag. I forget where I got this. I think I was. I think it was Shelter Island. Uh, I'm going to say you got that at Walmart. No. You did I, not get that in the Hamptons. I did. Oh, my God. Well, close to the Hamptons. It was in Shelter Island. Or well, it might have been uh, in the Hamptons. That, that, that shirt just screams Walmart all over it. No, not Walmart. I bet I can go to Walmart and get that same shirt. How much did you pay for it in the Hamptons? I don't know. You don't know? I don't okay, know. You probably overpaid for it. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> With my camper going to bougie Hamptons. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, thank you for watching our guest, Mark. Hi. Chismedia. 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 See, yeah, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. And if you want, we have shirts Ooh. for sale. I got to buy my work shirts now? Yes.